Hello YouTube, this is Six Sense here with another Logic Pro X tutorial. Finally hitting that environment area of Logic Pro. Well, today what I'm going to do is, um, per request, I'm actually creating a tutorial on how to make a humanize um, for basic MIDI keyboards that don't output, you know, a range of velocities, okay? Um, I have a MIDI, basic MIDI Casio keyboard, and it's one of those $60 joints I bought on a Black Friday sale, uh, teach me how to play, but it has basic MIDI function, okay? So you have the keys, and it outputs at a fixed value of... 100 velocity okay so there's no knobs there's no faders there's nothing but the keys and velocity and one midi channel all right but it works so why not right all right so now i do have in another video where i'll put the link in the description that you can actually turn this one channel basic midi controller into a multi timbral instrument, okay? So you can control different instruments with the one keyboard using, uh, you know, some techniques I showed in another video. And uh, yeah, that'll be in the description. So let's move on. Alrighty then. We have here a, an instrument track and I'll put here just a little piano, okay? Now, Next, what I'm going to do is click on Window, click Open MIDI Environment. All right, now MIDI Environment popped on my second screen. There it goes. Okay, maximize that. Now you want to click where it says Layer. You want to click that drop down, scroll down, click Click and Ports, scroll down again, and you're here. Okay, so now you want to click on New MIDI Instrument. Okay, and here, what you want to do is you want to name it. Now, what I usually do is command click, okay, uh, which will rename the module. Okay, so command click, and it'll be Casio, boom, all right? Now, over here, while it's selected, okay, you want to go to port, select Casio USB keyboard, or whatever MIDI controller you're using. And that's it for that step, okay? Now click uh, New again. You wanna click a Transformer. We wanna transform the velocity values. So we'll just put that next to the Casio module there. Double click Transformer, type Humanize. All right. And that's basically what we're doing. We're basically creating the velocities to have a sort of uh, humanization of velocity, okay? Um, so we're going to turn that into some random values. And, you know, of course, you can go into the piano roll and tweak them how you like later if you want a, a more fixed um, value or a certain order that you want the velocities. But uh, let's move on. We have the Casio. You want to connect that Casio over to the Humanize. Drop it. Now, cable and channel port are set. You want to remove the channel port setting. Do not remove that because it'll just basically erase everything that we just did. Okay, so don't remove. Now, click New again. Uh, actually, this step you don't have to do, but I'm going to do it so I can show you what's happening. Okay, so there's that. All right, now we just connect this to there. And if I press some keys, okay, it's not outputting here. The reason why is because this is the physical input, okay? The input is actually coming out of here. So you have to find your Casio USB keyboard, go straight across, okay? And when you find that cable uh, or that notch, Drag that notch and you'll get a cable. Drag the cable onto the Casio. And now, when you press a key, all right, now it's actually outputting. 
okay the fixed value okay but you see as you see it's all 100 all right now that's that to change that okay and i'll just make this bigger so you can see multiple values there double click the humanize okay i'll explain what this does uh as briefly as i can okay status is what type of midi message this module is receiving okay so this is the reception and this is the output on the bottom okay so this is the input into the module this is the output what the module is going to send out okay so it's going to receive equal to and automatically it's going to change it to note okay and I don't know if you noticed, but it also changed these names up here, okay? It went from data byte one, data byte two, to pitch and velocity. So it's a perfect example of what I wanna actually show you. Status is the different types of MIDI messages, right? So you click that note, and it shows fader, meta, note, poly pressure, control program, uh, channel pressure, pitch bend, okay? Now I have note selected. So here is channel. Okay. You can just click on equal. If you want to specify a channel, which is not necessary because the MIDI control only outputs one channel anyway. Okay. Then you have the pitch, all of the notes that the MIDI controller is outputting. And then you have the velocity, which is fixed at 100. Okay. We don't have to mess with none of that. We just want to keep all of the values and everything that is being received exactly the same. The only thing we're changing is the velocity. So we go down here, we go to through, okay? We click through and we change through to random, okay? Now there you have random. You want to bring this up to say like 80, 85. I'll bring it to like 85 and I'll put that from 85 to say 115. I normally do a range of about 20 or 30 values, okay? So between 85, 115, maybe 90 and 110, things like that, you know, like 20, 30, 35. Uh, I don't do any more drastic than that um, because it, you can really hear like a lot of difference unless you're looking for a drastic change, put whatever you like, okay? So that's all you have to do. Um, then you just close this out. But one more thing I just wanna show you, when I click off of this, uh, you see that's highlighted, right? The humanize, if I click off of it, look what happens. This is a random value, so this continues to shift values. So it's always random, always outputting a different velocity okay and that's that so we'll just close that out now if i press a key what's going to happen is look i'm just going to continue pressing the c key so that's 109 94 92 91 and 85 94 so you see what's happening is outputting random velocities which is exactly what we wanted okay now the last step is to drag this notch cable to input notes. And that's where Logic receives the MIDI data and plays it on the channel strip, all right? So now with the selected and with everything we just did, it'll play the uh, E piano, okay? So I'm gonna raise the volume there a little bit so you can hear it. So now watch this up here, okay? I'm gonna lower the volume of the piano uh, on my mixer so you don't have to listen to the piano. We're just gonna use the visual for now so you see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna press the C key one more time. Press C, on the bottom it says 100, as you see, right? 100 on the bottom, the top value is the value that we just created with the human eyes, okay? So it's outputting the random velocities. And mission accomplished, all right? Hope you enjoyed, hope this helps. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like, comments, 
and expect more environment tutorials. This was the first of a series. Thanks for watching again, guys. God bless. Happy producing.